Um, look, you ch chiming in, that means you a subscriber. You mess with me. I don't need this, no explanation. If you're new to the channel, I'm just catching this on the back end. Um, it's your boy, Cal. Be back with another one. I'm going to try to talk to you all every day because it's, you know, I want to help out the people that, mm, that need information. You might want to, you might want me to slide through. I'm like, I'm looking out right now real hard. So for the people that need, um, right now, our team is, if you have a property that you want to look at or interested in buying, you can definitely hit, hit us up, hit my line. Um, <clears throat> if you go on any of my, uh, platforms on Instagram on here, If you're interested in having me go to your site, do a full, um, have my guys do a full um, renovation cost, um, basically a full estimate on start to finish, let me know. I'll get you guys uh, my link and we go from there. So, um Let's see here. I hope this is not going to my car. Okay, I'm going to turn this Bluetooth off. All right, cool. Turn the Bluetooth off because I don't want any just, you know, back feeding or anything like that. Um, I will be driving, so if you have questions or comments, just drop them in the, um, drop them in the uh, chat. And then when I stop driving, uh, of course, I'll go look at it. So right now, I'm about to head over to our electrical store that has lights on it, and she, um, they have these like um, big old metal light fixtures. So um, of course, they take these little tiny light bulbs, and they went out probably over the years, and somebody changed them they didn't put the top back on it so um you know water dirt and all that debris got in there so the, the connections are corroded so i'm gonna see if i'm able to fix it and go from there yeah see if i'm able to fix it now that we're talking about this add a new light fixture inside the base that might be a lot easier hmm. if we can keep the original light just change out the base of it. Hmm, that'd be good all right so <clears throat> let's talk about it so i just was made aware like detroit is like in the top 50 like best places to live and then we got a couple other places uh, like Grand Rapids and uh, Ann Arbor. Of course, those are cities that's in Michigan. This is so dope that people are actually recognizing our city. Um, you know, I was just sitting here thinking like, man, I remember when people say, oh, Detroit is just terrible. You can't, you can't do nothing there. Like if y'all come to our city, come downtown, like downtown when I was growing up and downtown now, our mayor Mike Duggan, man, they, they put that boy together. Like <laughs> I remember they closed one of the streets down and just got a whole like entertainment section, like, you know, workout fitness. You can go down there and do everything. And like we have so many uh restaurants that uh that have started down there like it's so dope and you know our city is just it's at this point it's really beautiful and <clears throat> like you know we more than what you know of course when you see the crazy stuff on 
in the cities, you know, stuff like that. But you get crazy stuff everywhere. You know, you got crazy people everywhere, right? <laughs> it's just you all hearing about it because we coming up. So, of course, you're going to hear about some of the bad stuff. You feel me? Because if you was just, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just, man, I'm just trying to tell you, like, when the summertime hit, what I say is take a flight, come up to, the, come to Detroit, stay downtown with our hotels, you gotta go to our uh our we got our own little island it's called bell isle we got a whole little island you know with a little beach and everything like that now of course we get winter and snow but we still in the summertime it's slap you know it's slap you want to you know we got a little we got a uh, nice little island little forest on there on bell isle island that's off of jefferson <laughs> so if you go downtown <clears throat> all you gotta do is take jefferson all the way out and just even or saying to your GPS, Bella Island or whatever, you know. So, um, but we definitely got a lot of stuff there, and then our surrounding cities. So we have a lot of like, I, I call it mom and pop shop uh, restaurants. You know what I'm saying? Like we have a lot of, you know, those type of restaurants where it's like downtown area, and they have like so many different kinds. And it's like I'm learning, like, cause you know, use I just be working, right? So, but I'm sitting here. I, I went out. I'm like, dang, this is like, this is slapping. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it was crazy. I'm like, dog, they just got so many. They got one restaurant where you gotta give a certain code just to get in. It's like a luxury restaurant. Like, I got some. They got some stuff. You know. Uh, <clears throat> so, it's definitely a lot of things to do here, and they're they're working on doing even. You know, so they're literally all of Detroit. I know y'all see our houses and stuff uh, being, you know, being renovated and all this type of stuff like that. See all that stuff, but like in our inner city, like um, I see a lot. Like there, the whole deep downtown Detroit is under renovation right now. Like the whole, just basically, like they're doing constantly, constantly, constantly doing stuff. Um, and it's 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 beautiful to see. You know, it was so funny. I saw this one guy <coughs> walking his dog. I said, "Hold on, he <laughs> he was walking through the hood, but he had like a little poodle type stuff." But he went over. Um, I know he, he lived in one, it was, we was in the historic district, but you know, a lot of people walk outside of these, the historic district, you know, historic district, historic, historic, all right? So look, don't be judging me if I be saying these words wrong. Look, I'm working on my vocabulary, so hey, take me as I am. If you don't like to kick rocks, make sure you don't have no socks on. But <clears throat> uh, in a historic district, you know, a lot of people, you know, that living on houses, some of them just be going out, running, walking. And it was just so funny just seeing people just walk their dogs like you know uh, it was just so crazy to me and it, even where uh, uh, i think in the lasalle area <clears throat> where i was showing you guys on the other live uh just seeing people just just going through the hood you know what i'm saying because i still call it the hood either way it go but the hood is being rebuilt you know so um they're tearing down a ton of homes that um that were, you know, messed up and stuff like that. So, um, you know, it's 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 definitely a beautiful thing, you know. And I'm I'm just I'm just ready for them to start on our schools, you know, because that's the biggest thing, you know, for me. So I'm ready for the schools, like new schools, to be built, you know. Um, don't get me wrong, I don't I haven't want to see. You know, just being transparent. Because at the end of the day, um, <clears throat> I would love to live in the Boston Edison district. I also thought about just going to the freeway. So, also, too, any of my Detroit subscribers um, that want to link up with me, like, <clears throat> want to just link up with me as far as like while I'm out or whatever um or to come out work out with me let me know in the in the comments you know 
because <clears throat> at the end of the day, I got to get rid of this ball of belly. So I've been trying, I've been going to the gym. I've been getting it. I ain't going to lie to you. Now, my my uh, fitness trainer, he actually uh, works as a physical, uh, it was like a physical therapist or some, something to that effect, you know, as far as, you know, getting the joints and stuff. <clears throat> he actually does that too. So let me know if you need that dog. I'm gonna tell you, like I had, like I tore, I got a tore meniscus or whatever, and dog was, dog got me together. Like I really couldn't bend my knee, and bro got me together. Okay, and if you guys know anything about me, I am terrible with uh, directions, so I definitely just went the wrong way. Murray's lighting on eight mile. There you go. I definitely just went the wrong way. And definitely went out the way, so I'm now 15 minutes away. Starting route to Murray Lighting and Electrical Supply. <clears throat> At the light, turn left onto Livernoy Avenue. Yeah, so let me turn her down. She loud. Oh, she's so loud. But um, what was I talking about? Um, yeah, I would love to see the new schools being um, put into place. Um, <clears throat> You know, because I went to uh, Detroit Public Schools, you know, um, I know that we got a lot of uh, charter schools, but I would love for us to get some, some good, some real good schools with a ton of programs, because that's what I needed. I needed that type of stuff back when uh, I grew up, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't had the best childhood, but um, I'm, I'm thankful. So, but jumping back on subject, <clears throat> Detroit is definitely a, a great place to be. And that they say we're in the top 50, baby. Let me see if anybody has something to say. I don't want to. Okay, good. Um, but t talk to me. What, what, what kind of, what kind of questions you guys have? I'm going to do my best to answer it. <clears throat> and if I can't answer it. I will definitely get back to you. So if you got to leave a comment, let me know any questions you got. I almost want to see if I can get, I'm going to see if I can get a, like a mount where I can just show you guys when I'm riding through. Um, but uh, my schedule is super busy. Uh, I wanted to just film in a different and one of the other uh the university district or one of the other historic districts so i'm trying to figure out which one i'm gonna do um i wanted to do it this saturday but i gotta go to the gym in the morning then after that i gotta take my kid i gotta go get a haircut i'm out here looking like wow man so i don't know i'm you know i might have to go ahead and do that and just just go ahead and ride through that the next dis historic district or whatever. Um, and we are we are going back to Boston Edison District because I'm going back with my co-pilot and we're gonna go ahead and film. And also I wanna let you guys know that <clears throat> I'm probably about what 50 hours away from being my well applying to being monetized on YouTube. And then as after that it goes up and um, you know, I'm gonna try to get you guys merch. So when you come to Detroit, you know, <clears throat> um, get some shirts. Uh, the logo was uh, always working, but we still, I'm, st we still working on it, making it, you know, because we wanted to find. Uh, my bro wanted to make sure that we have the best material, best quality, because I wanted to try this. I tried this fabric out and tried to. Um, see how long it will last as far as getting you know washed and all that type of stuff right i don't want you guys getting something like that and it's just no good right so um what else um and I'm trying to think what else we got coming up i'm still working on the uh, the tour i don't know i might just throw a, I, i'm i'm literally might just fly y'all out hey just come fly out come meet me at this spot we just gonna we gonna kick it free free food and everything like that or whatever you know i don't know i'm gonna figure something out 
but I want to have like something like a workshop. What you doing? Come on, huh? I do apologize. I do not have road rage. I just don't like people. I like my truck, and I'm just trying to. If you about to get over, you need to hit your, you know, blinker. I don't understand why, why, why people have it. The rule book says you about to change lanes. You put your blinkers on. I don't, I don't understand why people don't do that. So it's just. So, <clears throat> that being said. That just threw me off, man. I'm, I'm, I be hating when just, just, just so we clear. If you got a raggly car and you driving a raggly car, you supposed to be like that person at church. Put your head, you know what I'm saying. You just put your hand up, put your head down. And you, drive. yeah. Why people with the raggly cars be driving all crazy, driving fast and everything like that? Where are you such in a rush to go? Like I'm just trying to understand this. <clears throat> I be hating that. Just sitting there and then they tear up a nice car. Just because your car messed up don't mean I want my car messed up. Huh. It's just crazy. Um, let's see here. What else? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, they've been doing And then also, too, the other area that I like. So the area where I bought my first house at <clears throat> was over there by in the Channel Park area. So Chandler Park. <coughs> If you look that area up in Detroit, we actually have a water park in the neighborhood, and they built the whole fitness center. You got a, uh, they got a little fitness center outside of the area, and they're doing a lot more stuff over there. And they didn't put a pond over there, like they didn't like put some stuff over there. I'm like, I'm trying to figure out how they even did all that, but they didn't plant this stuff over there. It's a whole like habitat over there you know what i'm saying and it's just it's like so beautiful i think um i think i'm gonna have uh we're gonna do that i'm gonna go i'm gonna go by so <clears throat> a lot of you guys don't know so back in 20 uh when i when i did my first youtube video it was how to buy a thousand dollar house in detroit y'all look at that that was over five years ago that's how long I've been out here doing this. It was five years ago. It was how to buy a thousand dollar house in Detroit. That was the video. The land bank was not advertising thousand dollar house in Detroit. I was the person that sit here, started that whole thing, a thousand dollar house in Detroit because I saw that the, the minimal bid was a thousand dollars. And I said, okay, well shoot. So I recorded <clears throat> and I have the only video that I know of online right now that shows you how the live auction goes so if you type in how to buy a thousand dollar house in detroit <clears throat> i think that video man only had like twenty thousand views but that was my first video where i showed you guys how to <clears throat> how to buy a house now since then um <clears throat> the auction <clears throat> excuse me it's still the same like it's still like the same you know criteria so that was an owning now property <clears throat> that i purchased and i showed you guys how i bought it for a thousand dollars ain't none of my other influences did that and i, I also want to let you guys know like okay you know i might just go ahead and say it like this you know, some of you guys may be part of other teams or whatever as far as influences and stuff like that. Um, and you just spent thousands of dollars to be a part of some teams and stuff, right? And I just want you guys to understand that <clears throat> I, when I first started this, I literally, I didn't have any help. I didn't have nobody to sit here and say, yeah, you do this, you do this, you do that, right? I literally figured it out by myself. And then once I figured it out, I started making YouTube videos on how to show you guys how to do it. And I ain't charge you guys. The only people I charge is the people that you know if you don't want to watch uh, search through my videos and look at the titles and actually look at the content and you want to talk to me directly 
to ask me something that I already have a free video on, then yeah, I charge you guys for my time, you know, because at the end of the day, I'm only one person and it's it's thousands of you guys, right? So, of course, I have to be accounted for my time because I'm stopping what I'm doing to talk. So, I, you know, I hope you understand that. Um, but, you know, I'm, you know, I'm hearing some people got to pay like a couple grand just to get the information. You know what I'm saying? Like, dang, I'm like, like, and then you paying a couple grand to get the information that I'm offering for free <clears throat> just to come back, you know, to come to me to, you know, to get <clears throat> the information I would told you. I <clears throat> typically we I charge for work being performed. So people we ain't talking about we ain't, we not about to put you in a hole because you look at it like this. If you you cannot fund if you are out of state investor or you're a person that don't plan on doing no work to your property and you want to contract everything, you cannot fund your whole project with credit cards unless you got at least 60, 60 grand and up. That's the only way you'll probably be able to get, you definitely, we can definitely get you to compliance with, you know, if you had like 20, 20 to 30,000 maybe, but but then I can't say that because if you get a vinyl house and need all new vinyl and stuff like that, they got to be done right. You can't just put that up wrong. So I can't even say that. But I want you to understand this is that if you're an out-of-state investor or out of state, a person that lives out of state and you plan on moving here and you need some people to just get your house livable, like you literally have to have a game plan. You have to have a project manager. You have to have a general contractor. <clears throat> and if you run into a contractor that cannot provide you a license, can't provide you license paperwork, can't provide you license paperwork. I don't want to put all my stuff out there, but that, that yeah, that's my license right there. So if they can't provide you license paperwork, saying like hey they are licensed professional then no don't have them do no work because if they say they licensed because <clears throat> at the end of the day that's like they should be able to provide that for you and then you can even take it a step further you know because license assured and bonded or all that stuff right they got to have all that you know what i'm saying because they mess your house up if they mess your house up who do you complain to you know so that's why I'm like, I just hate when I when I get customers that come to me, you know, like, hey, I saw your videos and stuff like that, and then I find out you coming from uh, an influencer, and you're you're you didn't pay thousands of dollars to this influencer, and you're continuously paying this influencer monthly or whatever, and you ain't even got front doors up. On your property that you want and you're on the property for a couple a couple months now but they didn't say so, yeah you can get your electricity done and everything like that yes the land bank when you buy a majority of land bank houses now you got plexiglass up there right now with a lock you do not supposed to do anything to the property until you properly secure the property if you don't have a general contractor is telling you that you put an electrical panel in, you doing anything to your property, you it's not properly secured, doesn't even make sense. Then the other part of it is that, you know, if it's just coming off the winter time, like you have to have, if you get your water meter installed, you have to have heat tape on the water meter or the water line is gonna bust. You're gonna have water everywhere. So, you know, um, you know, I just I'm gonna just pray for y'all. I ain't gonna lie to you, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna help y'all out. At the end of the day, the people that choose to come come to me, you know what I'm saying. So I'm not. I'm just like it's frustrating. I'm, I ain't gonna call nobody out. You know what I'm saying. You know, unless I hear my name brought up, then I then I. I, I, I cut up, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I cut up and drop it all out. 
and I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you. I got receipts. So I'm not I'm not playing about playing about that. That's why a lot of times you guys don't see me linking up with people because it's like if we're not like minded. I'm, so I come from a customer service background. So I'm not. I feel like regardless of fact now I'm a, my own business owner, right? <clears throat> At the end of the day, because I don't check in with an actual boss per se. At the end of the day, the customers are my boss. The subscribers, you guys are my boss. And I'm, I'm going to tell you why. Because at the end of the day, you guys are supporting me. But if I don't do what I'm supposed to do, then you guys are going to be gone. So at the, in all actuality, you guys are my boss, right? So that's how I look at it. And it's a lot of people that don't think that way. So I'm like, if you're not like-minded with me, if you... If you're not passionate about giving everybody the best customer service possible, I cannot mess with you. Because all, all my contractors, everybody that I work with or affiliated with, <clears throat> they can tell you right now, I don't ask for nothing. I say all I ask is for you to be consistent and do your job. I don't ask for no kickbacks. I don't ask for none of that stuff. And also, I'm gonna tell you two reasons why. Cause I, all I ask for you is do your job, but also I don't want to. If you end up decide that you want to go rogue and do some crazy stuff, I got a guilty conscience, and I'm, I'm gonna feel bad if I sit here. He didn't charge you three thousand dollars, and out of that three thousand, I, I receive five thousand, and, and the guy don't do his job, and then you come back to me and say, yeah, this guy didn't, didn't do me right or whatever, and I'm sitting here, I didn't pocket it. Uh, I didn't got a you know a referral fee or whatever off of him to do his job. So I don't I, I don't engage in none of that stuff. So I you know it's just you know it's just you know not right. But that's why I try to make sure the people that I refer to you all is people that I have personally worked work with. So if I'm referring you somebody, I have worked with these work with this person. Now I can say everybody every contract that you work with may not give the same experience as another person right so of course contractors could be because you know concerned with me because i have a nice size platform and if i decide that i want to um you know i'm very vocal so all i got to do is post it you ain't doing what you're supposed to do okay no problem I'll put you on blast. Don't play with me. Oh, man. So let's see here. Hopefully I got enough juice in this boy. Um, let's see here. I wonder if I can put... I'm going to put my headphones in so that way... Hopefully I got enough juice in this thing. Uh, let's see here. Nope. Don't got enough juice. And why y'all didn't let me... Why y'all didn't let me uh, charge this thing on thing up? Hopefully, I got enough power on this thing. But yeah, so we just got to uh, my electrical store that I always go to. Well, it's one of one of the electrical stores I always go to. All right. Oh, dang! It's at two percent. Great. Um. All right. Oh shoot. So I always I shop at one of the many uh, stores I shop at is Murray's Lighting and Electrical Supply. So this is located on uh, West. It's on West Eight Mile. I'll show you what the building looked like. So this is where I get a lot of my electrical supplies from. So you know, you come in here, get all the stuff there. You know. But um, hopefully it's not loud in here. If it's real loud in here, then I'll probably end the live, whatever. But I'm trying to find these lights for, for my customer. Oh, it's clear. I want my buddy Tony in here. Yes. Tony, are you, you busy? No, man. <laughs> Oh man, I'm glad y'all. I knew y'all had this old stuff in here. 
So I'm gonna show you guys what I, I need to get. So my customer needs this right here. So these are $280. Wow. So this type of light right here is what messed up inside there, these, these little lights. Uh, cool, 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 cool. So these, trying to figure out the big ones. We could do these. All right, guys. So the scene is big enough. Put that right on there. So I'm gonna text my customer to see if she wants to go with, does she like this one? Let me just put my hand next to it so she can see. Okay. Then we got this, this is the same one. Is this the same one? Hmm. Take a picture of these. Dang, I'm trying to figure out. So, yeah, so they got a ton of different lights in here, like old school lights. So that's why I always pick them. But like the different type of uh, stuff in here, you're able to get a lot of different things. Like old, like old stuff. They've been around for a long time. You see the chandeliers and stuff. So I'm going to call my customer real quick and see if she wants to go with. Um, let's see. I'm trying to find her information. And where's her stuff at? Okay, come to go on five eight six five in it. Nope, that's not her. Choose another number. Oh damn, my phone about to die. Do you like this light fixture? I'm trying to think. Which ones do you guys like? That one's, this one is $500. I don't even think they got two of these though. Hey, Tony, do y'all have two of these? Hey, hey, do y'all have two of these here or any of these here? I got a house in uh, Bloomfield Hills that um, they went out. So any of these bigger light fixtures, yeah. is it, what, you know which, which um, one? Either, either or. I, um, well, the, of course, the, the cheaper one right here, like this, like 80 bucks. Do you have two of these? Like, I just need it. I need it. I got to replace two of them. So I'm trying to figure out which one. I know you guys probably, it's like one off, whatever. So. Whichever, whichever one you guys have two of, and then I can. This one here is a, this one like five, almost 500. Woo. This thing like 500 just for this here. But this, this looks good. But the problem is if you don't put the top back on properly, it uh, uh water get in, so we got like water all inside of it. This one is 230. You might be able to get this one. Hmm. Yep. So. Yeah. Okay, guys. So. Um, just chiming in, I'm in Murray's Lighting on West 8 Mile. Um, I have one of my customers uh, that I'm going to have to figure out how to call her. Dang, I 
phone died. Shoot. What is this one? This one? Oh wait, this one two hundred dollars. That one's two hundred. Two hundred. Take a picture of this stuff. Okay, good. Yeah, because basically I got the same type of lanterns. They're like on pedestals, and they, they they didn't put the top back on, so you got debris and water and stuff. But you just have to go. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost done with the Okay, cool, Ben. I'm gonna put my phone on the charger. I'll be right. I'm coming right back in. Ugh. Yeah, we use big old heavy doors. Whew. I hate my phone be dying on me. This is crazy. <coughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, you can definitely go there for all y'all electrical supply needs and all that stuff for sure. You know what? I just thought about something. If my iPad is connected to this this particular phone. I got my iPad on right now, guys. So bear with me. Let me plug this charger up. All right, cool. So, uh oh. Alright, so it might pause for a minute because I gotta get this telephone number. Let's skip it. We're gonna see it is. So let me see here. Oh man, hold on. Alright, I see y'all. Uh, okay, let's see here. Okay, so glad in here. Hello. Oh, sorry. Oh, I think I'm open it up for you. Yeah. Let me see here. I saw some comments in here. Let's see here. What we got here? Hey, tell me what would be like me with a girl. Hey, you can. You can, man. You got the same 24 hours I got. We can definitely get it. What's up, Cal? Uh, <clears throat> right now, I'm at Murray. So, either or, I just want to know, whatever, whichever ones you have. So, have I'm these thinking sure right here. these here. Uh, these for sure I do have. No, it got to be some. It got to be either, like, it got to be big. So, it's either going to be like this one here. Are these these two the same? Uh... This one did not have like you know, the cover on it. You know, what do you call it? Uh, Around that? Okay. Yeah, so it'll be this one here because it got to be a bigger size. This is a big old pillar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you got if you got that one, and then I'm thinking the other I one that. Have this. You got two of these? I might. Uh, let me check. Yeah, check to see whichever one you got. This one is more expensive, so I'm thinking between these two. If you got two okay. of those, oh, yeah, whichever one, one, and then I'll. Uh, so these three, I'm going to go check these three. Yeah, because uh, then I can figure out which one I'm going to swap out.
Yeah. So they got these plastic ones. These are a nice size, but you know, this is pretty big, but you know, I'm trying to that the customer's property to have these big metal ones like this here. Is is this metal? No. No, this is metal. This is like aluminum. That one's like almost five hundred dollars. So So, so you know, I'm trying to give it. Tony, do some work, man. You gotta do some work, man. Later on today, get that right, <laughs> I said, I knew y'all always got some of the older stuff, man. Yeah. Here's Kevin, fast car. By the way, that was one of the songs this morning on um, Two Second Tune. Yeah, you come out to sneak them out and do don't bump them up. Don't tell nobody. Take my dollar. That might be God. That might be God telling telling me you don't get it. I'm doing a minute. So. All right. See here. What we got? I can't even see y'all comments now. Uh, where is it at? It disappeared. Let me see if it pops up. The comments disappear. I can't even see you guys' comments. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, okay. Yep. Um, yeah, we just, I'm just right now, I'm just shopping at, uh, doing some shopping uh, at Murray's Lighting on 8 Mile. They got everything you can think of. They got, look at, you got these halo lights. So if you want some nice chandeliers for your Detroit property, you got, a ton of different things, a ton of different options, you know. So a lot of this stuff is affordable, and they, they give you a good deal on a lot of, on a lot of prices on everything. So they got a lot of different things. Put this over your islands and stuff like that. So they have a lot of different things, light dimmers, everything like that. So this is where I go, and you see here where you have your chandeliers. If you want to mud that to the top, I mean, uh, in your ceiling, and then. It goes with, with the chandelier, so. Um, and then if you got, you know, want a nice little porch light type setup, all these different fixtures and stuff like that, they got, they, they have everything. I ain't gonna lie to you. Some of the stuff is a little dusty, but they got it new. They just let you know what they got, and, you know, go from there. You know, so, uh, look at this here. Definitely, they want 1200 for that. That's, that seems just difficult. But they got a lot of different things here. I ain't gonna lie to you. New and old stuff. So that's why I said, like, when I when I talked to my customer and she was telling me that she needed a certain thing, you know, they keep a lot of different things as far as lighting and stuff like that. Like this, too, this is a nice little... I don't even know where to put that at. Oh, I guess this stuff goes outside. It looks pretty sweet though, I ain't gonna lie to you. These different types of lights and stuff like that. So, yeah. And then if you want something in front of your house, <clears throat> this looks good too. Looks really good. So, but um, they take care of a lot of different things for you in here. Are we able to contact? Yes, you guys can contact me. Um, send me an email at hero squad dot pm at gmail dot com. Okay. I 
I don't have neither one of them. Mm. Uh, no. Question for you. We so can is order. Something? I can give you, can't... you a website, catchthekitchenlighting.com. No, if, 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 if it's order, I'm going to pay you guys and you guys order it. Is that, is yeah, that something that can happen? Yeah, we can order Okay, yeah. okay, good. So, um, do you know, okay, so I just want to sit here. Can you see? Or is it something yeah. you can check check real quick? Because I want to at least give her an option of okay. versus, because I don't know what their budget is, because, okay. you know, some, which is crazy is that they got the schedule 40 pipe. Instead of a bracket, it's schedule 40 or whatever, and they got this sitting on it, screwed into it. I guess, you know, one of their friends did it. It, it looks raggedy, so I'm probably going to, as long as it comes with a base, I'm probably going to have to cut that, get my... Isolated to it. They, they don't come with the base. The they base don't come. Separate. They, yeah, oh, the base I, is you separate. Can purchase, uh, the, I do have some bases. Okay. Like plain bases. Okay. Yeah. Just let me know how much those bases cost, and I, I just want to give them, give them, a, give you know, give them some options. You know, that's why I was. That's why I came here because I'm like, because their house was built like maybe 18 years ago. Okay. So they got. You know, like that bigger one there that's made out of solid metal or whatever, or it's like thick aluminum. The thing's heavy. It's like it's, it got a big glass like that and everything like that. So I'm like, and all of them is matched around. The house is like huge. Um, yeah, so. It's probably, it's probably is discontinued. I wonder if they got some newer kinds. That's I'll show you the book. Okay. Okay. Sweet. That'd be sweet to just get them maybe something new and modern, but it probably got the older look to it. Something that's more easier to. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. yeah. So those, so you probably want to tell them get, take them down then, huh? Yeah, it'd be two because one, uh, one, they both, won't, they both terrible. Need something they has that type of look. All right, guys. Till next time, I'm about to look through this good book and figure out what we can find for the customers. I'll probably maybe live later.